I got the dirt disease at a young age, so I was always the type of kid adventurous playing outside in the dirt, building things. I really had a passion for uh, creating things with earth, so excavating was really my passion. I worked for a couple larger firms and decided that I thought we could create something pretty special with a real focus on customer experience and employee engagement. Little did I know my passion would, would transform more into creating these outdoor living spaces, which is what we really truly enjoy. Today we're a firm of about 55 craftsmen, technicians, architects, designers, uh, and specialists. The goal has always been to create a team atmosphere where everybody can grow and develop within our framework. And I think we've done that through focusing on our core values, our core purpose as a company, and then really bringing people into the company who fit with that. So rather than bringing people in who are just looking for the next best thing or, or the next job, it's, it's people that really want to be a part of something special. When we're looking for new team members, we're looking for self-motivated, driven individuals. People who are gritty, want to jump in there, get their hands dirty, get things done. This is a small company. Nobody is insulated from doing anything. We've emptied the entire office for days to go out in the field and serve customers. I think about some of the earlier on projects, maybe you know, five, six, eight years ago, where we sat down and, and created this vision with a client and really didn't know where it was gonna go or what it was gonna become. And now looking back, um, we were imagining and creating something that we're today still hold very high in our portfolio. It's hard when things are moving so fast to stop and appreciate the wins and appreciate the things that are being created and done uh, because there's always more things to do. Uh, but I'd say that pause and reflection is more about the details in the work the collaboration with the clients and the team, and um, really what we've been able to accomplish overall. We started the business really out of my garage. About a year later, we were operating out of a red shed. That went on for several years, and really we were so passionate about what we were doing, it didn't even matter, you know? And now today we take a lot of pride in the design center, but I think back to those days that we were a truck and a couple shovels and a cut saw and the red shed, and. You know, we were working together and we were really building something. And I think looking back from now to then, what makes a difference is somebody who's committed, somebody who wants to be a part of something bigger.